we're gonna try these two teams um in a great league set if if one of them's cooking like if we do well with it we'll finish it if a couple battles in i'm not feeling it we'll try the other one and we'll we'll, we'll get at least a set in with these two teams um and try and make it work so it's essentially an elaborate allies line struck through that fight isn't there we go there you go ezra so at least there's a basis for that in my brain <laughs> there's a basis of that for me in my brain so uh, we're going to give these two teams a try. Thank you again to our lovely Patreon uh, supporters who uh, are keeping me uh, in the making Pokemon Go content business. I appreciate you. Let's give it a try. So we've got Sableye and Registeel in the back here with Noctowl in the lead. Interesting. I'm not super sure what I want to what I want to do with this if we find a lost lead. That's like my number one concern right now is like, what do I pivot out of? I probably don't pivot out of much is the real answer. Sableye. That's a, that's a great lead for us. So obviously they can to an extent play this matchup out, right? Landing a return makes it interesting, but it's still a really difficult matchup for them. Mostly because they just don't put any real damage on me with their fast moves, so. But since they shielded, we're going to do the same. Okay. Well, I am going to Shadow Ball this thing. To try and make our, uh, our Sableye matchup against it a little cleaner. I fully expect them to earthquake me here, which is fine. I'm not not terribly worried about that this uh, this setup. Let's see what happens here. We get one more. Sh oh, ho, ho, ho. that kind of feels bad though. That actually feels kind of bad. Oh, literally the one HP. Uh... Let's see if we regret this. We might, right? Okay, it's fine. That was that was the outcome I was hoping. Well, I was hoping to get another one, but. The big outcome I was hoping for there was exactly that, where we uh, actually do get the shield from them. Now, the question here becomes, yeah, you return me. That's fine. Oh, baby. Huh. Interesting. And it's Shadow. Oh, no. Our poor opponent. <laughs> GG's. Oh, no. They don't even know what I have in the back. They don't even know what I have back there, and they're going to be really, really, really sad. All right, so Knocked Owl out of the lead looking pretty good there. They had one Knocked Owl counter, uh, and it was nestled in the back. So Registeel didn't even see the see the battlefield. So that's pretty good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a good team comp win for us. Good old-fashioned team comp win for us. Going to be real hard for our opponent to steal that game unless we make a big mistake. I'm pretty sure I played this 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 person. Uh, oh, that's Knocked Owl uh, Mirror in the lead. I'm pretty sure I played this person uh, yesterday. Hey, Fun Kyote. Thank you for the 20 bits. Appreciate it. I mean, we're just playing a knocked owl mirror, right? At this point, I don't know that there's a ton of uh, edge to be gained here in any way, aside from just, you know, potentially some kind of IVs mattering, but like, I'm not really sure what I want to do here. I think we're actually kind of incentivized to be shielding 
because of the fact that um, I don't have any way of putting a lot of fast move pressure on this thing. So I kind of want it dead. I can't really like, ooh, okay, well, it dies. I can't really afford necessarily. Okay, that's not great. We're going to switch out, obviously, but. Hmm, they do have a Toxicroak. I don't love that. I don't love that. Give me a debuff. Come on. Yes. Okay, debuff's good. little undercharge for our opponent there nicely played good clean play we did play we played this opponent uh we have played this opponent i mean i really would love to get the sky attack off but it's fine i just wanted to make him burn the energy i just wanted to make him burn the energy We're not shielding anything here, too. Remember, this thing is attack debuffed. And there's still a lantern, and it still has energy. And we just have to uh we just have to do our best here. There we go. That's what I was expecting our opponent to do, like for a while now. Okay, Thunderbolt Shield is good. I just don't think I can win this. I I t I, uh, I lost to this opponent by a single fast move. I think on a. Oh, they're gonna get a move here. Yeah, all right. Uh, on yesterday, on our first set yesterday, because I remember this team. And it's gonna happen again because we need basically two foul plays here, and we didn't we didn't get it. Plus they have a charge move, so. I mean, it's close either way. Uh, tricky team for us. We fell behind on the shields and just like couldn't really find a way back into that game. Unfortunately, like that lantern being back there meant that uh, I just didn't actually just team just doesn't really have a great lantern answer, right? It's Registeel, so no matter how we slice that, I guess we well we could have like let the Noctowl die, but then Registeel Lantern with them having all that energy is not great for us, so I was just kind of hoping they, they didn't have a Toxicroak there. Pelipper. Sure. Uh, it's just a flappy bird fight, right? It's just a flappy bird fight. I like to think we're slightly favored, but a little bit of an awkward fight, I think. I think it's a little bit of an awkward fight. Mostly just because they're a bit faster than us, right? But we are going to be able to force a shield on them, right? If they want switch advantage, which they don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're definitely just going to stay here. Sky attack them. And we get to put our Registeel on this, so that's good. And if their back line is something like uh, Knocked Owl Fighter, we're in very good shape now because we've got the, stun we got the uh, Sable Eye to deal with it. They do have a lot of energy here. Like, this is a lot of energy for our opponent. But they just have a real hard time killing this thing. But I'm expecting just, like, a couple Shadow Balls here. Which, again, isn't nothing. Oh, they, they, uh, that was not what I was expecting them to do. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to bait me. So, that's probably pretty good. There's the Shadow Ball. Yeah, that's fine. That, that hits for real damage. Hey, look. It is a fighter in the back. 
It is a fighter in the back. What a surprise. So this return is probably not necessary here, but I actually think it kills them, which is what I'm looking for. Oh, they shielded. They shielded? Okay, well now I feel real bad. I was not expecting them to, uh, to do that. That does not feel like a great shield for our opponent. Yeah, like, it doesn't feel like our opponent really did themselves a lot of favors here. I guess maybe I should try and go to return because this shouldn't get shielded. Okay, well, you know what? Hi, opponent. Good luck. Good luck killing me. I mean, they can shadow ball me again. You know what? Yeah. Lock on? <laughs> just, just lock on? I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does some. It does some. It does enough. Definitely some, uh, the old beep down. I love the beep down. Definitely some interesting choices by our opponent in that game. I, I did not expect them to protect the Metacham at all because like, Sableye dumpsters it, and your win condition is probably two shields and a farm down with your uh, with your knocked owl, right? Something like that, but... Hey. Hi, B-Man. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better today. My, uh... The swelling in my mouth has gone down, so I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty decent, so... We're gonna give it... We're gonna give the old college try today, so... Appreciate the sub. Thank you so much for the, uh... The prime love... Thank you for the Bezos bucks. And uh yeah, we're back at it. We're two and one with the uh the uh the Patreon team. This one I think is Greasius's team, which might have been a Zionic team ultimately, but um yeah. I like it. Azumarill. Ooh, that's a fun one. I haven't seen an Azumarill in a while. They knew what my Pokemon were, though, Ezra. <laughs> they knew what my Pokemon were. Turkey, I'm playing with uh, some Patreon teams to start today's stream. So this team is a bit meta. Play rough. So they're not on Ice Beam. Or at least they haven't shown me Ice Beam yet. I assume they are on Play Rough Hydro Pump if that's what they're throwing, which means that it's a fairly reasonable matchup they probably just out bulk us here but all things considered I think I would rather try and uh okay well the good news is I can uh make their life a little un uncomfortable here after this I do want to put the Shadow Ball in for basically one reason. It makes our Zap Cannon lethal. Right? This will make our Zap Cannon lethal. Which it wouldn't have been otherwise. Um, or it makes it close to lethal. So I like the uh I like the chipping here, frankly. For a lot of reasons. Now we still might be in trouble. There's some stuff that could be back here, especially. Or it doesn't make it lethal, but it puts it there, which means that I can now farm this thing. Like, I think you, 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 uh, maybe I misspoke, kind of, but. It makes the zap cannon dangerous in a way that actually works out for us. That's kind of what I meant to say. What's coming in? They do still have shield advantage, which I am a little bit worried about. Ah, the old Sableye. This is something I was a little worried about. They no longer have that uh, advantage. Let 
There we go. Okay. We're getting a little, it's getting a little dicey. Okay, we got the shield. The problem here is that I do think we're gonna get farmed here, right? They did manage to get the farm. Hmm. Lot, a lot, a lot of energy for this opposing Sableye. The question basically becomes, does the math work out for me? We might need, we might need a catch. It is a real possibility that we need to catch a move here. The problem is I don't know where they're at energy wise. So I'm not super confident on that. But my plan was regardless of what happened there, if they were at high red, I was switching because we'd be able to lock on farm them anyway. So I didn't need to know exactly where they were. I just needed that to put them low enough in the red that they couldn't shadow claw through my registeel. That was it. It just so happened that it was also a catch. So that felt good. But that play wasn't because I knew they were at a move. It was because that was the correct, the correct play to do. And it also happened to get us the sweet catch for the win, so. All right, we've locked in a winning set. Can we get a fourth win? Ah, another Sableye lead. We like this. We like this. Oh, look, it's a Registeel. <laughs> Great. Uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Uh, I'm just shadow balling him for no apparent reason. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, let's just go here. Let's just go here. Checks out, Paul. I think I knew that in my brain, but like... Ow. No, they got the debuff. That's not good. They actually got the debuff. Sad. They just got another debuff too. Oh no. We're double debuffed. That actually might make this really awkward, right? Because that does yay much. Okay. I mean, at this point, we're just putting this damage on. Like, we're still going to get to go into a matchup that's pretty bad. This is the problem, though, right? It's not necessarily that, oh, hello. Well, this is okay, because now, obviously, I know what I'm doing. Thank you, opponent. I mean, it's not optimal because we have to deal with this matchup. But obviously, I'm much happier knowing. All right. Cheeky Thunderbolt. That's fine. Yeah. Shields. Give me. Come on. Oh, come on. They can get debuffs, but we can't, apparently. Uh, I do think we need to be shielding, though. The problem here is I just don't know that I can win. I don't know that I can win this fight. Especially without getting the debuff. Like, that debuff would have been such a massive get for us. We got it on the second one, but it's... Kind of a little too late, I think. Also, I have to look out for them switching or catching here, right? Like, it's something that is a real possibility that they could, uh... Okay. So, good news. We have a Zap Cannon. I think we might win this game because of it. We farm here. We Shadow Ball. Well, they win CMP, though. So, because everything beats, 
everything wins CMP over uh, over us. So we might need double Shadow Ball, which is kind of what I'm going for now. Double Shadow Ball probably still gets him. I don't know if double Shadow Ball gets him, actually. We might need uh, these two moves and gonna be really really close to double shadow ball isn't it uh come on come on i believe knocked out come on no 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 uh reggie does not win cmp come on in what world do you think reggie wins cmp it absolutely doesn't. Ugh. Rip. I mean, we 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 did our best. We did our best. Hey, we got a top of Bulu out of it. That's kind of cool. All right. And one lock on farm down. Just for you, bud. Just for you. Uh, this is, I believe, Fallible's team recommendation. So we're going to try this. Seems interesting. Please no ice in the back. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I haven't seen an ice type today, though, so... For you, Fallible, I will give it a try. I'll give it a try. These are there's a lot of matchups here I don't know very well, and it does feel like a lot of very like important bait nuke kind of gameplay that is gonna be very, very tricky to to master. So I'm not super sure uh how I'm gonna handle this team. So Galvantula. That's certainly something that I didn't expect to see in the lead. This charge probably hurts pretty good, right? Oh, they actually lunged me. Really? Lunge? I'm shocked that you would bait. I'm shocked that you would bait opponent. I think the end result is basically the same here, which is that, like, they have to shield something anyway. I know. They're all single moved and shit. It's fine. I'm going to let this go, but they're just addicted to straight lunging stuff, so. Oh, my God. A lot of stupid. A lot of stupid. A lot of lag there. A lot of jittery stuff. Okay. Well, in this case, uh, fine. I think I'm okay with them burning both their shields on that lead. I'm not shielding any of this. Because they straight lunged everything. Uh, okay. I don't love this. Obviously, we don't really want to go to uh, the other Mon here. Do we, though? Like... No, I think we... Uh, uh. Ew. And they obstructed me. We are not doing damage here, just as a heads up. Just no damage whatsoever. This is not ideal, right? I'm, I'm not shielding until... Uh, oh my god, they actually night slashed. Holy shit, they actually did. And they got a... You have to be fucking kidding me. Really? Really? And they got a fucking boost on that? And they got a boost on that. Well... I've got bad news for my opponent. <laughs> I have pretty bad news for my opponent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just win this game with two seed bombs, so. But also, but also, opponent. Can we be real here? 
the fuck? GG's. Not really sure why they did that. Like, I understand why you would go to, uh, why you would go to, um, why you'd want to get the obstruct in. Like, the obstruct is good. But, like, if you can't, like, it doesn't matter what happens at the, at the end there. Once you, uh, yeah, like, I think Obstacle survives a seed bomb there, right? And so I think what you do is you just stay, you get my last shield, because I'm going to have to shield something, right? And then your lantern serves me to death, right? That's how, that's how it works. You, you don't go to the lantern early. You go to the lantern as the last resort when you can, when you know, when you know for a fact that one surf will kill me, right? Which I think they would have, which basically need me, I need to get rid of shield, so. But hey, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, oh, hey, that's a good lead for us. We found the ice type. Uh, it's in the lead. Uh, okay. I imagine they're on ice punch. So the question becomes like, how do we play this? They were night slash boosted. Yes. They were night slash boosted. Uh, good no shield by our opponent because it gets them another one of these, but that's okay. We're going to maintain our switch advantage here. I'm going to be able to put a lot of damage on their, uh, on their nine tails here. So which version it is charm. Oh, no. Oh, I almost over tapped that. That was almost awkward. Okay. Fine with me. The Swampert's a bit of a problem. I'm not going to lie. I am going to New York, Paul, yeah. Swampert's a little bit of a problem. Right now, I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can. Yeah, I probably that's probably what I should be. Like I think I I think I gave him a little too much room here. Cuz the problem is I also have to respect the nine tails having a move now. And I let them just kind of dictate the amount of energy they've got here. Okay. Well, they didn't get a move off. I needed them not to get two hydro cannons because otherwise we just lose to a uh, a weather ball, I think. But from Oh, actually they still have a shield, don't they? Never mind. I thought I had already gotten that other shield. I think we're going to lose anyway. Because they get my shield here. And then I need this Night Slash right now. And I need them not to have a move. Oh, they don't have a move. Okay, we got it. I don't think it really makes much sense to... Oh, no! <laughs> really? Fucking Really? Remind me again why that's a Pokemon anyone wants to run. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What an absolute embarrassing showing for the, uh, the Gliscor. All right. Well, that's an unfortunate loss. Bastiodon. Ugh. I mean, what do we do here? <laughs> Do we just straight bulldoze them? Like, I mean, obviously, a flamethrower ends our life, so we can't do that.
Yeah, 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 that's fine. Hey, look, it's a victory bell. What a surprise. You're right. <laughs> There's a Vic back here. See if I can get both these night slashes off. Please, 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 please. We did, okay. Yeah, Basti seems like a very reasonable, a very reasonable Pokemon to uh, play out of the lead. Oh, I bet you we'll, we die to a, a stupid Leaf Blade, yeah. I think this is okay. I guess the only problem here is like if there's a, uh, if the fighter comes in right now. I'm guessing Sableye though, which Okay, interesting. Could it actually be traditional grass hole with the two grass types? Could it be? It is. It's traditional double grass type grass hole. GG's. Hmm. Slightly surprised to see the uh, the second grass type actually show up. Like that's actual regular old double grass type, double shadow, basty double shadow grass. Yeah, crazy. Hmm. I'm fine with that. We probably, yeah, probably could have just gone to Gliscor right away and it probably would have made for a slightly cleaner win overall, but ultimately that worked out okay. I kind of liked putting all that damage on Basti, so. And I was impressed at how little damage the uh, Smackdowns were doing. I guess they're neutral, so. It's pay to win 69. Oh, Lord. We'll never beat pay to win 69. Not with this lead, we won't. <laughs> Not with this lead, we won't. Jesus Christ. Uh, please don't have a, please don't blow me out. You don't have a way to blow me out. What they do have is ice punch though. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Ugh. Yeah, I know I live one, but I, I want a opportunity to win switch advantage. And if uh, I live the one ice punch and then uh, go into this matchup, I think we're going to really struggle. Unfortunately, Knocked Owl seems very good here. So we're just going to be in a position where I feel like we don't have much of a chance. Unless Trevenant sweeps their back line. Right now, basically, our win condition is probably Trevenant sweeping their team. Right? I mean, we're getting we're going to get real greedy here. My biggest concern is them at some point realizing that they can just swap out the knocked owl and probably be in decent shape, but yeah, we're just, we're on full on, hope there's no, uh, like we're hoping their last Pokemon is basically Lantern. That's our win condition right now. Show me like a Lantern in the back. Nope. Sableye was the Mon I didn't want to see in the back. Sableye is the Pokemon we don't meet in, beat in the back. Yeah, even with even with the double bait there, I just don't I don't have the I don't have the gas to uh to beat this thing. I think we just let it I think we just let it go. Right? I don't think there's any scenario where we win this, so 
We just say, yeah, you got me. GG's. It is what it is. Unfortunate. Nothing I can do about that. All right. Well, we're two and two with the team. Let's see if we can steal ourselves a uh, a game three. Feels bad that we lost the uh, that one. We had one that was very close that we lost. <clears throat> oh, look, it's Crimson. <laughs> What's Crimson running? Chestnut. Interesting. You know, we're going to go ahead and just pivot here. Chestnut Frost last so far for our opponent. Interesting. Interesting. What I'm worried about here is that, uh, well, yeah, stop sniping, lull. That the math on this is going to work out perfect. Yeah, see, perfectly for him with that farm down. That's so bad for us. That's so bad for us. Because <laughs> we're going to get shadow balled here, right? And I, I can't afford to shield this. So we're in we're in a bit of a bad spot. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now the question is, do I have any chance of beating his remaining Pokemon? Like on one hand, uh I just I have a hard time believing that his team is soft to Trevenant in the back with this in the lead. But that's our game plan, right? That's our game plan. He's going to switch, so I know he's going to switch. Hey, look, it's a Shadow Zard. Well, it's bait dependent. Right? Oh, never mind. We didn't have enough energy anyway. We didn't have enough energy anyway. All right. Yeah, GG's. Unfortunately, uh where we where we messed up in that game was a uh well one, Charizard's gonna core break the fuck out of you, so you're gonna lose that anyway. And two, uh the way that we played that Frost last game was just really, really, really rough. Yeah, GG's Crimson.